Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friends, Ben, Blake, and Shay. And we're going to battle in paper Commander. This show is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Promo code CGB5 will get you a discount on all of your lovely singles and sealed product needs. So check out CoolStuffInc.com. And the person who leaves the comment that the winner of this game loves the most will get a $50 gift code to CoolStuffInc.com. So make sure you stay till the end, leave a comment. I don't know. Some of us really like the bootlicking, like oh, you're yeah. the most amazing ever oh, kind yeah. of comments. Some of us go for the humor, you know, the person who has the funniest take on the game. Some of us, are, I, I don't know, it, it depends, but you know, put some work into the comments. We see you, we appreciate you. And you know, make sure that you check on your comment to see if you won, probably like a week later, something like that. So, the worst possible is the name of the show because be our rule zero talk is we talk about the worst possible thing that our deck will do to each other to kind of mentally, emotionally prepare us for the game that we're about to get into. And I am going to go first. I am playing Karth the Lion. Karth is a legendary creature, human warrior, a 3-5. And whenever Karth the Lion enters the battlefield or a planeswalker you control dies, look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal a planeswalker card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Planeswalker's loyalty abilities you activate cost an additional plus one to activate. So, Karth mm -hmm. finds my planeswalkers. When you guys kill my planeswalkers, I find more planeswalkers. The planeswalkers tick up faster. The worst possible thing I can do to you is have Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider, or Doubling Season so that I can ultimate my 24 different planeswalkers as soon as I play them. So it, um, if you guys are like most people, you really get like, you see a planeswalker over there and you just attack it to death right away. I, I'm, I'm gonna test that. I might wear you out because I, I'll probably just play another one and another one and another yeah. one. This is going to be Golgari super friends to the max. All right. I'm excited. They're not. <laughs> no. I'm excited about your shirt, though. Oh, That's you like an that? Amazing shirt. You like that? Uh, I had never watched My Hero Academia at all until I heard you were doing a, a deck based on it, and now uh, my wife and I have, se have finished season two, oh, like in okay. just a couple of weeks. Nice. And uh, you had nothing to do with it, so I'm not going to give you any credit. <laughs> That's fair. Ben, oh, <laughs> credit where credit's due. What's the worst possible thing you're going to do to us this week? Okay, well, I'm playing Castle Apex Warper, Aspect Warper. I always say Apex, I don't know why. Um, when he enters a battlefield, I'm a, I put a flying counter on any creature I control if a creature in my graveyard has flying. I repeat this process for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Indestructible, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, and Vigilance. And then I put a 1 1 counter on Cathril for each counter put on a creature this way. So my worst possible is playing Buried Alive, which searches for three creature cards in my library, and I put them directly into my graveyard. And then potential late game, a uh, really good card is Eerie Ultimatum, which returns any number of permanent cards with different names from my graveyard to the battlefield. How many permanents do you have with different names? <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> Mostly uh, every permanent. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can you get every single keyword on that card from Buried Alive. If you pick three, oh, every can single, you do it? I can get, uh, let's see, I can get eight, I know. Okay, that's pretty, pretty high. Good. That's eight, pretty good. Really good. That's if really I good. do get that, it will have double strike, indestructible, and hexproof, and it will be an 11-11, so I could just commander damage anyone at that point. I'm not worried. Are you guys <laughs> worried? Sounds fine. Uh, everything's yeah. fine. <laughs> Peace in our time. This is fine. Peace you're, in our time. You're burning in your house. This is fine. This this is fine. fine. You'll We're probably very effectively attack some planeswalkers. That's all. Yep. That's all. All right, Blake. Uh, I mean, what do you think? How? Are, how? What's the worst thing that you're going to do to us? All right. So I'm playing Ineos, the Gale Force. So this is a four-four with flying, and it has two and a hybrid Azorius attacking creatures with flying get plus one plus one until end of turn, but it has another ability. Whenever three or more creatures you control with flying attack, each player gains control of a non-land permanent of my choice controlled by the player to their right. 
So we're going to go in clockwise order. I'm going to trade permanents between everybody. My goal is to get my own permanent back. That is my win con, my little mini win con. My deck has a relatively linear power level. So the worst possible thing I can do is get a Court of Grace out and just maintain Monarch and get a bunch of 4-4 four, four Angels. But the truest win con is if I can play this card and proceed to win the game. If I can win the game after having cast Yorian, then that's the best possible. You wouldn't. I will. <laughs> you would never. Time to find out. Yorian will not play along with this. Yorian I is think, with me I, now. I think your secret win con should be to get Yorian over here. Oh! <laughs> and then back to me. Okay. No. Oh. The so, train does not stop. Okay. I, I, I'm interested in this passing permanence around because that gets around hexproof, right? Uh, yes. Yep. Oh, so what? Ben's <laughs> yep. commander. What? Oh no, I didn't think oh, about that. No. My plane my planeswalkers. <laughs> what those two? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be something. Mm. Yay. That's yay. what I got going on. You know what rhymes with yay? Shay. <laughs> Hi Shay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what are you playing this week and what's the worst possible thing it's going to do to us? Yeah, so today I have Alayla, artful provocateur in a an Esper. Uh, enchantment and artifact deck. So she's a fairy warlock. She costs four. Um, she has flying, death touch, and lifelink. Other creatures you control with flying get plus one, plus O. Oh. Whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment spell, create a one, one blue fairy creature token with flying. So obviously I'm looking to create a lot of flying tokens. And as far as my worst possible, um, I've got a Cathar's Crusade here, which costs five, it's an enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. Pretty good. Gets even better with Anointed Procession, which costs four, an enchantment. If an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. So I get more flyers, more 1-1s, one, all of it stacking on top of each other. And then I think um, it gets just a little bit worse with uh, if I can get Propaganda out as well. Um, just you know, constructing my little my little pillow fort over here with with all of my one one flyers mm -hmm. on the so, battlefield. So we can't attack you. So we yes. have to pay to attack you. Correct. Sounds sounds rough. You have a lot of good permanents to take. I, I can't wait. I'm honestly like really excited about Blake's commander here because it's like you have these cool permits that play with flying or with token making so if you like you got if i got my hands on your annoying possession or you got your hands on my doubling season like all <laughs> kinds of things could happen like this is this could get really silly so, i'm looking uh, forward to this don't kill them don't kill them as soon as they get oh, it, oh, That's that, all oh, oh it's gonna die <laughs> okay yeah perfect let's dive in let's do let it. this nonsense begin All right, we all got our D6. I got a three. Two. Three? <laughs> no. Three twos, wow. Three gold last. Perfect. Wow. And forest done. Whoa. Okay, off to the races. Yep. Draw. Play a Close and Verge tapped. And I'll pass. I'll bring some excitement. I'm gonna Flooded Strand. Hollow Fountain untapped, losing two more life. And then I will play a Judge's Familiar. One, one flying, I can sacrifice it to counter target instant or sorcery unless they pay one. Nice. And I'll pass my turn. Okay. I'm gonna Marsh Flats, <laughs> pay a life. Thanks. I grabbed a Watery Grave, it's gonna enter tapped, and here I go. Okay. I'll play Dark Borer Pathway on black. Two mana. What do you know? Let's go with Arcane Signet, and then I'm done. Draw. Play a forest. Tap two. Do a rampant growth. Okay. We get a swamp. And then I'll pass. I'm gonna play an island. All right. That's a, a planes. Play a planes. <laughs> it's in Japanese. I know it's hard to I tell. I know. I can't read it. It's actually simplified Chinese. From onslaught, the best lands. On a one, th I'm gonna decide who I'm attacking. One through six, I attack CGB. Okay, CGB, I'm attacking <laughs> you for one. Oh, okay. The dice, it's not my fault, I rolled dice. <laughs> you did roll dice. I'm gonna dice. cast an Ornithopter Paradise and pass the turn. Nice. Okay. It's not my fault. Planes. 
tap two for nine stone, and pass. All right. I'll play basically a swamp, Takanuma, Abandoned Mire, and Commander. All right. Here comes Karth the Lion. Does this 3-5 that went, enters the battlefield. Let me look at my top seven for a Planeswalker. Enter the battlefield. So you're going to no response. back to negation that? I'm not going to. OK. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, what if five, you five, six, <laughs> seven. It's One in four cards in this deck is a Planeswalker. I, I built it really aggressive for that. Um, and I have three win. to choose from. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not a whiff. No, oh, that's no really whiff. Not. I'm going to reveal Ren and Seven oh, as mm. it's a, currently oh, a pretty no. popular Planeswalker. I'm going to randomize the bottom of my library, who I hope comes back soon. And then I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Untap. Draw. We'll play a Sun Petal Grove because I control a force that enters untap. <laughs> now I'm going to pay four and play Odric Lunark Marshall. Oh, my. At the beginning of my... Uh, each combat. Um, creatures you control gain first strike until on a turn if a creature you control has first strike. The same is true for flying, death touch, double strike, ace, axe proof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, skulk, very old ability, <laughs> trample, <laughs> and vigilance. But right now he's just a 3 3. Don't how, worry about um, it. How does your keyword soup taste? Like, a mess. But it like doesn't, doesn't have banding, so we're okay. Not yeah, yet. right. Yeah, we're, we're safe. Horsemanship? Okay. May. Nope. <laughs> I'll pass. I will play a Plains, I mean Island. I can't read. <laughs> it is known. I'm going to cast a Bygone Bishop. This is a 2-3 for, with flying. And whenever you cast a creature spell with converted mana cost 3 or less, investigate. I will then tap my Ornithopter of Paradise for a blue. And I will cast Hypnotic Siren. This is just a 1-1 one, one flyer and it will trigger Bygone Bishop, and I will get a clue for the first time in my life. I have a clue. <laughs> and we'll then move to combat. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'll text CGB for one. <laughs> <laughs> one damage. Pass turn. All right, we got a Misgate Pathway. Tapping four to cast my commander, Alayla. Welcome, Alayla. Then I'm going to pass. All right, I'm going to play a strip mine. I'm going to cast the Planeswalker you saw, uh, Ren in seven. And this has five loyalty. Plus one is reveal top four, put all lands into hand, put rest into graveyard. Zero is put any number of land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Minus three is make a tree folk with power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. It has reach. Minus eight is a really cool emblem that says return all permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. You get an emblem that says you have no max hand size. I'm going to plus Ren, and I'm trying to dig up some lands. So plus one, reveal top four, all lands to hand, rest into graveyard. Professor Onyx, Verdant Catacombs, Rampant Growth, Boseju who endures, two lands. Nice. And that brings me to eight cards in hand. No so, maximum, you still have maximum hand size for now. Yes, I do. So I'm going to move to end step and we're going to discard the Verdant Catacombs. Kind of hard to do, actually, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Your turn, Ben. Okay, untap. I'm going to play a Woodland Cemetery untap because I control a forest, well, forest swamp. I'm going to tap three green and two and play Voropede. Voropede. Is vigilance, trample, and undying, and it's a five-four. Um, so when I go to combat, he'll have trample and vigilance as well. That's a deal. I'll, I will pass. All right, I'm going to play Windbrisk Heights. This has hideaway, so I'm going to look at the top four. We'll put this underneath, and then this on the bottom. All right, I am going to pay three for a Sprite Noble. This is a two-two flyer. Other creatures you control with flying get plus zero plus zero. Oh or plus zero plus one, and I can tap it. Other creatures I control with flying get plus one plus out. And then I will make another clue. I'm gonna move to combat. They're not gonna hit you, I promise. You're not gonna lose any life here. You're gonna roll some dice? No, I'm just attacking <laughs> random seven. <laughs> for, for how much? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, Ren is down to two loyalty. I'll pass my turn. 
Okay, Temple of Silence. Enters tapped, and I get to scry one. Then we're gonna tap uh, four for Bident of Thassa. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. I also get to make a fairy. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. <laughs> he prepares these all week. Nah, I just have a notebook. <laughs> it's called Blake's Insanity. <laughs> all right. I do you have any flying, Ben? Yes. I do not. Oh, you, you're. They are vigilant souped? and trample at combat. Both of them. Okay. Your soup doesn't give Reacher anything. Okay. It would if they had. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna swing a Layla at you for two. Okay. Take two. Cool. I did Such combat damage to a player, and so I will draw a card. And you also gain two life because she is a lifelink. Oh, nice. Yeah. Not I'm a gonna close game pass. Anymore. So zero zero cost plus one then because of Karth. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, the zero does actually add loyalty. This should also be on three then. Yeah. I plus no, that's fair. Mm. Okay, I'm silly me. Still, I don't have enough lands to really take advantage of the zero becoming a plus one, so I'm gonna plus rend to five and reveal top four. Three visits, overgrown tomb, slaughter pact, death cap glade, so a pair of dual lands. Put those in the hand. I'm going to play the death cap glade. Just a whole bunch of green black dual lands. Yep. I'm gonna cast Talisman of Resilience. I'm going to use that in strip mine to cast Golgari Signet. <laughs> I hope that's storm count hmm. if, if these were if these were lands, I could have like yeah, that'd be know, gross. But they're not lands. And then I'm going to try to tap four here, and I'm going to try to cast Soren the Mirthless. So, Castlevania Soren here is a four loyalty, four mana Planeswalker. The plus one is to look at the top card of my library. I may reveal that card and put it into my hand. If I do, I lose life equal to the mana value. The minus two is create a 2-3 black vampire creature token with flying and lifelink, and the minus seven is 13 damage to any target, and I gain 13 life. All right, do I want to make my own flying lifelinking thing, or do I want to try to draw cards? Sort of feel like I want to defend. So it's a minus two, but it's actually a minus one because of card. Oh, that's so sick. And I'm gonna make a 2-3 flying death toucher. No, not death toucher, 2-3 flying lifelinker. And then I am done for the turn. And then... So I'm going to find that token, but you can go ahead, Ben. Oh. I will untap. I not have that token. I'm going to play a swamp for a turn. Mm -hmm. I'll tap three to play Cultivate. I will search for, let's see, a... Brittany's going to be my two, three. <laughs> I'll get a swamp in my hand and a force on the battlefield. And at the same time, I'm going to... Sacrifice a Cross and Verge to get a Forest and a Plains on the battlefield tapped as well. I'll swing five with Vorapede at the Ren and seven, and then three with Odric at Shay. Uh, no blocks for me. No blocks for me. All right, Ren's out, but I get to, because a Planeswalker died, I get to look at my top seven, reveal a Planeswalker mm. from among them, and put it into my hand. That's so sick. Uh, maybe I should let the table vote. Liliana Dreadhold General or Lolf Spider Queen? <laughs> I would say Lolf. I, I would vote Lolf as well. Cool. Uh, even if Shay wanted, you're outvoted by the Yeah, the sack two creatures is good. <laughs> all set? I am all set, yes. Things are about to get hectic. I'm going to play a Marsh Flats. I will lose a life and just get a basic planes. And then we're going to do the thing. We're going to cast Ineos. Uh huh. Then what? I'm gonna move to combat. Actually, keep in mind that all of my creatures have plus zero, plus one currently. Sure. I will send two one twos at Shay, and then a two four at Soren. Keeping in mind, just so on the board tricks are not tricky, I can give a plus one, plus zero. Oh. This will trigger Ineos. Let's move some stuff around. I will have this move. He's always giving me the finger. In his <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just keeps it hanging right there. And then I'm going to move this one. I'm going to move, uh, move the two, three to you. 
Um, the Mr. Two, three ben. Vampire? Yep, the two three vampire. Goes to Ben. 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 And then I'm taking Borapeed. I want you to keep your suit. Oh, thanks. Yep. Mm, I don't think I'm going to block. I yep. got nothing. Give all my dudes plus one plus one. Yeah. Soren will die, taking three, and she's going to take four. Yep. And then right. I'm going to <clears throat> move down step. Tap seven. Turn. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going right. to pick Liliana then. And then you're done? I'm all set. So it's Shay's turn. Shay, get your revenge. <laughs> we will flooded strand pay life. All right, so I grabbed a prairie stream. It's going to enter tapped. So I'll swing with my uh, my fairy, one flying. Uh, late to the party then I'm going to pass. <laughs> I'm attacking you, Blake. Shay's commander. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three flying, death touch, life on I'm going to block with Ornithopter Paradise. It dies. Yep. I'll gain two. I'll play Woodland Cemetery untapped. And I will cast Meat Hook Massacre for four. Take that, judges familiar. X equals four. Trigger a Layla. So I get a fairy <laughs> that's about to die, but it gives me another trigger. <laughs> I will counter it unless you pay one. That hits enchantments? Oh, no. Duh. Take that, judges. Yeah, familiar. that's right. Okay, yeah. yeah nice. I got confused by that. Because I'm stupid. Yeah, I got nothing. I even talk trash. I'm a... <laughs> I'm a fly boy who's about to have my wings clipped. Okay, guys, keep track of how many things die. So I'm going to gain nine, and I have two creatures dying, Alayla and the fairy that was just created, so you all lose two. Oh man, Kartha's five toughness. It that was Kartha nice. does have five toughness. Jeez. I have enough mana left over after these shenanigans to cast Liliana of the Veil. And that is a three loyalty planeswalker. The plus one says each player discards a card. The minus two says target player sacrifices a creature. The minus six, separate all permanents target player controls <laughs> into two piles. That player sacrifices all permanents in the pile of his or her choice. Let's plus Liliana because of Karth up to five. Everybody discard <sighs> one card. I will discard. Mm. Goodbye, Kinjali Sun Sunwing. Tangled Florahedron. I'm going to get rid of a planes. Your turn, Ben. Mm -hmm. Tap. Four. For a Guardian project. Whenever, you know, we, we know what this one does. Every right, time I play I, a creature. He plays a creature card. and he draws a card. Cool. Yeah. It has to be a different one of a different name, but this is Commander. Commander. So, yeah. mm. I'll tap three and play a Leyline Prowler. Mm -hmm. I draw a card. It has Death Touch, Life Link, and I can tap it for a mana. I'll play a Planes for turn. And I'll go to combat. I'm going to swing six. You did say you like discarding. Not anymore, though. Just that <laughs> one lane. <laughs> I'm going to swing six Trample Vigilance at Liliana. Okay, right. she dies. Let's see if he gets another blame yourself. Bugger, yeah. Let's trigger Karth. <laughs> Your choice is Tevesh. <laughs> oh, oh, I choose Tevesh. <laughs> good good, good choice, Blake. Are you, are you in agreement? But I yeah. almost whiffed. Almost. That was the that closest was the last we've come. That was the win condition. That was the, last that was the closest we've come. Also, Shay, if you crack that clue before it gets to CQB. <laughs> and, Don't uh, listen to uh, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'll pass. That's my turn. Okay. That was my favorite clue. All right. I will crack my clue, draw a card, play Fable Passage, and I will just main phase that. Getting a land, that's a basic, I can never tell the difference. It's taps for mana though. Pass turn. Um, I think on your end step I want to crack the clue. <laughs> that leg's heart is mine. broken. Okay. <laughs> Draw a card. A uh, reliquary tower. Tapping six for Alayla. She back. She's back. Uh, then I'm gonna pass. I will draw. Blake. I attack you with Karth the <laughs> Lion <laughs> for three commander damage. His mane is so beautiful. All right. Let's go with five mana. We're going to try to cast Tevesh Zat, 
Doom of Fools. Five mana for a four loyalty command, uh, Planeswalker. That can be your commander, but it's not in this case. Plus two is to create two O one one Thrall creature tokens. Plus one is you may sacrifice another creature or Planeswalker. If you do, draw two cards and then then draw another card if the sacrifice permanent was a commander. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is gonna be great if I get to steal a commander again. Mm. All right, mm. and uh, the minus 10, gain control of all commanders, put all commanders from all from the command zone onto the battlefield <laughs> under your control. Yeah, that's so gross. <laughs> that's beautiful. Isn't it? So We're this enters go. the battlefield of four loyalty, okay. Well, that resolved, so I'm going to shock in Overgrown Tomb, paying two life. I'm going to attempt to cast Vulp, Spider Queen, which has four loyalty, and for zero, I can draw a card and lose a life. Uh, the passive is whenever a creature I control dies, put a loyalty counter on Vulp. The minus three is create two, two, one, black spider creature tokens with menace and reach. The minus eight is an emblem with, it doesn't matter, it sucks. <laughs> I am going to minus three, but minus two the Vulp to make spiders. Spiders. All right, so I make two spiders, but I'm going to plus one, I mean plus two, to Vesh to sacrifice one of the spiders and draw two cards. And it's going to trigger Wolf and move Wolf's loyalty up to three. Gross. And it's going to trigger Meat Hook Massacre, so everybody loses one life. Well, that was pleasant. Nice combo of Planeswalkers there. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna play an exotic orchard for a turn. Oh. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four. No red at this table? I knew there was something about this table I liked. I'm gonna play <laughs> Daring Fiend Bonder. He has haste. He attacks each combat if able. Good God. And for two and exile him from my graveyard, I can put an indestructible counter on target creature. And I can only activate that as a sorcery. And it's a five one. Um, Some major oh, card. I will draw a card off Guardian Project. There you go. <clears throat> I'm gonna swing six at Vesh. Okay. Savat. Zat. Z whatever. Zat. And then the seven at Lolf. And they Jeez. all and they all have vigilance trampled. Oh wait, no. No, don't. you don't have yeah, Odric. I keep forgetting that. Because okay. meat hook. Right. Does that change anything, or is that still the plan? Um. Because you have to tap them to attack with them. Right. Other I than the boar bead. Okay. I will keep that as a plan. Okay. Um, so Tevesh is gonna die. Okay. I'm going to put the two one spider in front of your daring fiend bonder. Yes. <laughs> and then I guess you kinda wanted that in the graveyard, but yep. oh well. And then that means the Lolf takes two, right? Yep. That's okay, that's my plan. Alright. So happens. your creature dies, I gain a life. My creature dies, everybody loses one life. Hey. Wolf loyalty goes down to one, but then up to two because of the death of the spider. Right. Tevesh is going to die. I'm going to trigger Karth the lion. Here we go again. Yet again. Mm. <laughs> Can I hit every time in this in this video? Possibly. Have you hit Five, yet? Six, seven. Huh? Your choice is Grist the Hunger Tide. I choose that one. As long as it isn't on the battlefield, it's a one-one insect creature token and. Creature in addition to its other types. Okay, if it was, if it wasn't in a, if it didn't have other types, it there, wouldn't count. Yeah, then yeah, it wouldn't count. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. I don't shuffle. I don't shuffle. I don't shuffle. Oh, good save. Good mm -hmm. save. Mm -hmm. Then I'm done. End of your turn. The whole time you thought I was holding counter spell, I'm just gonna cast the Nimble Obstructionist. Just a three-one flyer. I will cast a Cloud Blazer. This is a five mana two-two flyer. When I'm on the battlefield, I draw two cards and gain two life. The sacrifice is quick turn. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I'll move to combat. I'm gonna attack CGB. I'm gonna be friendly. Okay, gonna, gonna focus on player removal. Gotcha. Okay, an island. Uh, we'll tap two for an Orzov Signet, which does trigger Layla. There's a fairy. Then we will tap two for Swiffa Boots, creating another fairy. Nice. All that glitters. Mm-hmm. Yep. Create another fairy. What does the target? Uh, it's going to be Alayla. Okay. Yep. Tap one to equip Swift Foot Boots to Alayla. Okay. So that means, so she's currently got 
plus five, plus five. Move into combat. I think I'm gonna swing at CGB. Oh. <laughs> Fun. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll take that. Seven. Uh, then I'm gonna pass. Okay. Uh, I'm going to zero the Lulf, which is actually a plus one because of Karth, and I'm going to lose a life and draw a card. Oops. <laughs> there we go. All right. I will attempt to cast Demonic Tutor. Mm. Seems pretty good. Seems really good. No response. Yep. No response. <laughs> Are you worried about something, Shay? Well, yeah. realistically, you don't counter the DT. You counter where the DT right. gets. Yeah, well, I can't do that anyway. <laughs> I don't counter the DT. I counter what the DT gets. All right. I will use three man over here to cast Grist the Hunger Tide. This uh, is... Is, the text says, as long as this isn't on the battlefield, it's a 1-1 one, one insect creature in addition to other types, whatever. Um, it's three mana for a three loyalty planeswalker. The plus one is create a 1-1 one, one black and green insect creature token, then mill a card. If an insect card is milled this way, put a loyalty counter on Grist and repeat the process. I don't think I have another say, insect in my deck. That'd be amazing, though. The minus two is you may sacrifice a creature. When you do, destroy target creature or planeswalker. The minus five is each opponent loses life equal to the number of creature cards in my graveyard. I think that's one. I, I think it's oh, one. Oh, in your graveyard. Yeah, it's, it's never going to be very lethal, not on any kind of a scale. So does that resolve? No response. Yeah, totally. No response. Okay. So we've got three loyalty here. I'm going to plus up to five. It's a plus one, but Karth the Lion makes it a little better. So we're going to mill a card and create a one-one. A black green insect creature token. The milled card is Urborg. I'll just go wow. with like this one one insect. Try to remember it's also black. Okay. Then I'm going to tap five and I'm going to go for Liliana Vess. <laughs> this is a planeswalker that f has five starting loyalty. The plus one is target player discards a card. The minus two is search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. And the minus eight is put all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Oh. What is what is that? A minus a minus oh, eight. Oh boy. So minus seven with cards. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Liliana is going to minus one and go down to four. To well, actually, hold on. So this is on five. I'm going to play Temple of Milady tap and scry one, yes. because I want to see if the card I was going to search for is on top anyway. Fair enough. <laughs> is it? Maybe? It is not. Oh, okay. That was an exciting thing. Yeah. I just remembered I can't do this, because if you guys kill a planeswalker, I'm going to reveal my top seven. Mm -hmm. So it, has, oh, yeah. it would have to be a planeswalker that I fetch. And so I'm going to plus uh, up to seven here, and I'm going to target Shay. You have to discard a card. Okay. Then I'm done. Right. Thank you. I will untap. Play an isolated chapel. Enters untap because I control a planes or a swamp. I'm going to tap two and play mulch. Reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all land cards revealed this way in your hand and the rest of your graveyard. Hopefully I get no lands because I want creatures in my graveyard. That's fair. Reveal one. Oh, well. Two. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Three. <laughs> <laughs> And an eerie ultimate, oh. which I don't want in my graveyard. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> Neat. That was the roughest mulch <laughs> of all time. You said well, you needed cards. It in was hands. a two mana draw. Three. That's true. So, you drew three yeah. cards. Yeah, I, I think you have more land than you need. Though. You're approaching. Yeah, I do. It's such a recall with that one. I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing two the Death Touch Life Link at. Uh, both of them are going at. Uh, Liliana, less. So six and two. Six and the, two? The six has Vigilance and Trample, the two has Death Touch and Life Link. All right, my insect token will block the non-trampling Death Touch okay. Life Link. Liliana, assuming that this all happens yep. as intended, will lose six loyalty and go all the way down to a tiny one loyalty. Wolf will trigger, going up to four loyalty. And everybody will lose one life to the Meat Hook Massacre, and Ben will gain two life from Lifelink. So I will gain one, essentially. And I'll play a uh, single combat. Each player chooses a creature or planeswalker they control, then sacrifices the rest. Oh. What? Players can't cast creature or planeswalker spells until the end of my next turn. What the? 
What? <laughs> Are you for real? What? Uh, Does in order. Resolve? Blake? Yeah, that's stupid. No responses. Okay. Yeah, cool, dude. <laughs> All right, Ben, what else you got? Uh, that's it. That's all I got. So, oh, wait. Um, Wolf saw Karth die, so Wolf goes to five. All right, untap for turn. Play a command tower. Goodbye, Wolf's three loyalty. Okay. Why not? <laughs> Go ahead. We're going to play Arcane Sanctum. I'm gonna attack you with Layla for, for seven. <laughs> okay, fine. CGP, did you not expect this plane of Planeswalker deck? I, my face getting attacked? No. <laughs> that's fair, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> And you then are. I no. will draw a card off of Biden. A little bit, uh-huh. <laughs> then I will pass. Okay. I will lose one life and draw a card with Wolf. All right, I will channel both Seiju who endures to destroy target artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land an opponent controls. That player may search their library for a land with a basic land type, put onto the battlefield, and shuffle. I'm targeting your swift foot boots, Shay. Hmm. Uh, all right. No responses for me. All right. So swift foot boots down. Go okay. ahead and fetch a land with a type, put it onto the battlefield. I grabbed a sunken hollow. Okay. All right. I'll play command tower as the land for the turn. And, uh, I mean, you, you brought this on yourself, Shay. I'm going to attempt to oblete Ooh. your commander. Oh. As an enchantment, oh. when it enters the battlefield, target creature phases out until oblete leaves the battlefield. Tap that creature as it phases in this way. Your aura stays attached. It, so it doesn't, like, if this were bounce or something, you'd lose the aura if it were killed. But the mm -hmm. aura stays attached. So if you ever bring Alayla back, uh, if you get rid of a bleed or somebody gets rid of a bleed, then... Or kills you. I'm gonna keep saying it. I'd, look at mispronouncing things on this channel is a time-honored tradition. <laughs> that Understood. I, and uh, since I can't cast any of my other cool cards, Ben, yeah, Ben, well, it's your turn. Okay. Ben. I'm gonna play a Nesting Grounds for turn, which says it taps for a colorless. And for one and tap it, I can move a counter from target permanent you control to another target permanent. Activate this only as a sorcery. That's sick. Yeah. I, I like really that. want that for this deck. It came with yeah, the deck. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Oh, you can I'm gonna move tap loyalty three. around. I'm gonna play Balaged Recovery, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. What's the target? I'm looking. Get that mulch back, get three more lands. <laughs> no, hand. I think it will be Eerie Ultimatum. As the target. Yikers! <laughs> hey, do you have the mana for that? Oh, uh, right now. Search. Yeah, I think I do. I mean, yeah, it's I do. Not, it's not. It's that, actually not yeah, that bad. Yeah, it's not right that now. bad to be honest. Reason. I mean. Yeah, that's fine. Resolve. Right. Let me go to combat. I'm gonna swing six vigilance trample. <laughs> I'm gonna swing it at Shay. Oh. That's my boy. <laughs> it's just six. Yeah. Amazing. And I'll pass. Are you going to be jelly if I draw a bunch of cards this turn? Oh, yeah. Perfect. That. I'm going to evoke a Rebel Arc. So this will immediately get sacrificed if it resolves, and I'm going to get two cards back from my graveyard with power two or less. Okay. Trigger Meat Hook Massacre? Yep. Mm. Uh, that's just me game. No, oh, yeah, you game. Oh, right. I always forget which is which. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I'm getting commander damage. I'm <laughs> this is part of why I hate commander damage. Yeah. For real. <laughs> like touching the the life total thing yeah. triggers me now. <laughs> All right. I will get back Kinjali Sunwing and Cloud Blazer. Okay. Uh, Kinjali Sunwing does, huh? Creatures your opponent control enter the battlefield tapped. Oh, nice. That'll be fun to remember. So then I will That's... trigger Cloud Blazer, Blazer to draw two cards and gain two life. All right. I'm going to tap a blue and exile seven cards. To cast, we're going on a cre treasure cruise. A treasure cruise. Okay. Cool. I'll draw three cards. I'll oh, then do a little switcheroo. Play a Miskate Pathway, and then I'm going to cast a Remorseful Cleric. 
This is a 2-1 flyer that I can sacrifice to exile all cards from target player's Ooh. graveyard. Uh, I don't like that. Ooh. I don't like that. I kind of like that. I'm kind of into that oh, one. Move right to now. combat. Oh. If you attack me, I will strip mine your hideaway land. <laughs> Exit combat. <laughs> well, that works. The card under here is really sick, so. <laughs> but now if you do it and I... Didn't you'll think. forever be an Oathbreaker. Like my boy Jamie. I didn't make a, I didn't make an oath not to. <laughs> mm. I just I just put forth an if then. The science checks out. <laughs> Thank you. Stupid scientist. <laughs> scientist Pass that side. turn. <laughs> oh, uh, on your end step. Ooh. Gonna pay a swap for a vampire tutor. Oh boy. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, I have searched. Yep. I have found my card. It is on top of my library. I'm gonna go to my untap, upkeep, draw. First I'll play an island. Uh, so I'm gonna tap three for a Mortify targeting Obliette. Please don't have a counter spell. Please don't have a counter spell. <laughs> Did he make a break? <laughs> <Black Goldari? laughs> Anybody else want to counter you it? You look to your hand and it's just a reflex. No response. Fear, fear immediate fear. The Ben guy. That's you got fine. It. You got it. It still comes in tapped. Still comes in tapped. You know? Yep. Base is in tapped. Cool. And we'll tap two for Lightning Greaves. Okay, so if that results, sure I will equip Lightning Greaves to Alayla. Uh-huh. Four, four, sad robot. So sad. So I'll search for a basic. Yep. Put it onto the battlefield tapped. That Ender's tapped as well, just because of uh, Sunwing. I'll grab a planes. I also create a fairy. Right. And then I think I'm going to pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. All right, let's do six mana to cast my commander, Karth the Lion. When this enters the battlefield, look at my top seven for Planeswalker. Any responses? No response. You're good, man. Okay. So our choices are Obnixilis, oh. Liliana, Dreadhorde, Gemeral, or Garrick Unleashed. Mm -hmm. I might need targeted removal because of the fairies, though. True. So maybe I'm supposed to grab Ob. Yeah, I was going to... Ob was my, my thought. Yeah, yeah, I'll grab the Ob. That so, was quite the draw. After that, we're going to cast Sakura Tribe Elder. Oh, yeah. And we're going to sacrifice Sakura Tribe Elder. This will trigger Meat Hook Massacre. And so everybody will lose a life but me. And I'm going to tick up my wolf. And I'm going to shuffle after I fetch a basic my hand. The swamp will do. I'm going to play Bayou for the land for turn. I'm going to cast for four mana, Vraska Golgari Queen. So this is a four loyalty Planeswalker, plus two is sacrifice another permanent. If you do, you gain one life and draw a card. The minus three is destroy target non-land permanent with converted mana cost three or less. The minus nine is you gain emblem with whenever a creature your opponent deals controls deals damage to a player, that player loses the game. This is tapped, by the way, because of the Sunwing. We'll use minus two instead of minus three to destroy all that glitters. Destroy all that glitters? Oh, all the glitters. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, yeah. the enchantment. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I was like, all that glitters. Is she started doing a little dance. Is like, gold? She's just hanging out. She's just. She's just picturing Shrek Whoa. now. Just yes. Yes. I'm blowing up all that glitters. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to use Lulf to make two spiders. Unfortunately for me, they enter the battlefield tapped. Uh, I guess Nerd Girl can be the other spider. Spiders. And uh, I'm done. Okay. We'll untap my three forests and draw. I'll play a death cap glade untap because I definitely control two other lands. Yeah, what is this land for? I'm gonna tap five. I'm gonna attempt to cast my commander. It enters with death touch and life link. Neat. And two one one counters. Okay. It does enter tap because of the does, sunwing. Yes. So. And I will draw a card off Guardian Project. Okay. Play Eerie Ultimatum. Wow. Brazen. Ben, why why are you making me do this, dog? 
Okay. We only have five permanents coming back. Come on. What back. are they? That could be worse. We got Odric. That's a pretty good one. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm saying you should pay attention to it. Everything <laughs> will gain death touch. Everything will gain lifelink. Lay everything prowler. will gain haste. Uh, no. <laughs> not haste. Remorseful cleric. I, yeah, I have no remorse. Oh. Exile my whole grave. Yeah, see you there. Okay, I'll go to combat. I'll swing six. Vigilance, right? At Blake. Seems good. You're no longer friends. I'm sorry, pal. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Draw for turn. Sacrifice of Prismatic Vista. Now I'm going to play a different two mana 2 1 flyer. I'm going to cast a Selfless Spirit. This one I can sacrifice to give all my dudes indestructible. Good one. Oh, um, I gain a life from you sacrificing the Remorseful Claire. Correct. We tap seven to cast any eyes. You want to pass around some cards again, Shay? I have a feeling your commander's going to get be the victim. <laughs> Maybe not. She may have a response here. Blake. What's up? Would you like to form an, an alliance? alliance? What? <laughs> Me. What? <laughs> yes, yes, I will. Real? What? But I don't know. Literally you... going to bully us? I don't yeah, know if I really do, good. though. I'm not worried about you, Shay. I'm not worried about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, the disrespect. It's not uh, disrespect. It's just rudeness. Yeah. <laughs> not worried about you. You could just say no. I'm not interested in alliance. Yeah, but instead, but he's he's I'm like not... over here posing, posturing. <laughs> That's awkward. With 22 life. That's awkward. <laughs> it is really awkward. At the lowest life total. <laughs> so I'm gonna pay a white for a swords to plow shares targeting your clan. That's all right. Wow. Okay. That's real. We're gain four life. Pass turn. Okay. All right, Shay. Uh, yeah, moving to combat. Um, which planeswalker do we are we more concerned about? Do we? Wait, wait. I you guys were all fighting each other. <laughs> now is not the time for we discussions. I we as a group. Mm. What's that one? Is that Roscoe? I would say mm. his face is the, is, we think? is the most dangerous. Roscoe's a little spoopy. Every time you kill one, man, no. I, I might just get a new yeah. one. Uh, I'm going to send a Layla to CGB and two fairies to Ben. Damage? I'll, I'll take four. I'll take two, and you can gain two. And then yes. do you gain two commander damage? Was I that a Layla? Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I wasn't um, sure which one. Yep. And three cards. And three cards. Right. Yeah, tap one and a Signet for an Azorius. Signet, create a fairy, it enters tapped, tap one, and a signet for Fell War Stone. And create another fairy, and then Vault of Champions does not enter tapped because I have two or more opponents. And then I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Untap. All right, we're gonna start this very fun turn with a soul ring. Nice. Woo! Yay. Better late than never, right? I think so. <laughs> We're going to zero, but I mean plus one wolf to draw a card and pay a life. We're going to plus Vraska. Uh, it's actually a plus three because of cards. So it goes to five loyalty. I'm going to sacrifice one of my spider friends. I'm going to gain one life and draw a card. One just plus wolf. Yeah. What's that? Plus wolf. Or not plus her, but a creature died. Oh, yeah. you're right. You got me. Good job, Ben. Nice. I will pay four and cast Karn the Great Creator. This says activated abilities of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated. The plus one yeah. target until your next turn up to one target non-creature artifact becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its converted mana cost. The minus two doesn't matter because you're not allowed to have sideboards or outside the game in commander. Plus one to six, actually uh, to seven because of Karth the Lion. So great. <laughs> I am going to transform Shay your Biden of Thassa into a creature. Nice little four four. No, thank you. Yes, <laughs> yes, Shay. You must you can turn, block with it transform now. it into a creature. What do you think? You think something bad could happen? Sounds like a board wave mm. to me. If it's a creature now. Hmm. See, I'm going to. Ben has killed many planeswalkers. Ben about. has killed many. Planeswalkers. I'm going to. Let's go, ben. Get it. Let's get it. Ben, I'm going to attack you with a two one menace reach. My own token? How dare you? That is <laughs> <I'll take> traitorous. <laughs> <two. laughs> 
<laughs> it's too <dude>, damage. <laughs> Get over it, nerd. All right, um, we're gonna play an untapped forest for land for turn. All right, four mana. Damnation. Oh, snap. Destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. You're gonna like this. Yep, I will respond with uh, Sacrificing Self to no. Spirit. I lost two creatures. No response, I guess. So I'm gonna trigger from the meat hook for the Selfless Spirit. Yes, yep, that happens okay. first. No responses. Okay, so I'm going to lose one, two creatures, so everybody lose two life. Lult will go to five. And then how many creatures die? Two from you. Four, five, six, seven. So nine, so I gain nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I'm going to recast my commander for eight mana. Tarth the Lion returns. Welcome back. Enters tapped, search top seven. All right, guys, our choices are Ugin the Spirit Dragon oh, and Garrick Wildspeaker. Have fun with Garrick. Yeah, I doubt you. Have fun Ugin. with Garrick. You're not going to take, take you're not gonna, Ugin? You're not going to kill all your planes. I mean, you could just. You don't want me to take Ugin? You could just really? bolt things. I don't know. I'll take Garrick. It's fine. This is fine. Oh, really? Yeah, that's fine. Huh. I, don't like, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The it's confidence. Us. Your turn, Ben. Oh, yeah. You could have bolted into that. That would have been nice for me. That's indestructible <laughs> right now. Oh, well, right. Well, yeah, oh, but, oh, I see. Someday. Mm. One day. Someday. Someday. Like on his next turn. I'll play a Terramorphic Expanse for my land for turn. I'll tap three, four to play Tyam Luminous Enigma. Each other creature you control enters a battlefield with an additional Vigilance counter on it. For three and remove three ca counters from among creatures you control, mill three and return a permanent card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. If only there were cards in that graveyard. And there's mm -hmm. two, but none of them are three or less. All right. One, two, three. So that enters tapped. Oh, yep. right. And you tapped. draw a card right. from your guardian oh, yeah. project. I will play a Hornet Queen. Tapped. Tapped. <laughs> That's a lot. And then I will, it will enter with four insects tapped. That's a good follow-up to a And they all have... They all have Vigilance counters on them. This is non-token, so I will draw one card. I will sacrifice the Terramorphic Expanse for a Swamp. Yeah, I'll pass. All right. Let's untap some plans. Glacial Fortress. We're in Yazin. Welcome back. Am I going to get punished for doing a board wipe that's good for him? Um, no, you're going to get punished for playing so many Planeswalkers. But that's my dad. <laughs> that's, that's what I do here. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I got, you know. All right, let's move to combat. I will attack Roska for five and Lolf for two because I know you're a fan of Lolf. So I will not. Okay. I will not kill the Lolf. Okay. Thanks, boys. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I know that's not all. What are you doing <laughs> with your like gain control of stuff? Let's do some. Let's do some shuffling, shall we? Yeah. CGB can take. An Azorius Signet. Lame. Yep. Okay. Hey. At least you can activate signet. it. <laughs> How can. do you feel about a Needle Massacre? I'm, I'm, yeah, sure. What? Yeah. No, this card's done nothing. This card. <laughs> <laughs> nothing yeah, at all. On it. That's the thing. Oh, so no. So Meat Hook's going to go okay. over to Ben. Ooh. Meat Hook's on the move. Sweet. And then I think I am going to steal from you, sir. An insect token. Dude, Guardian Project says draw you. cards. I do. Yeah. CGB, you really do get me. Yeah. I do. You really do. I really do. I'm going to take a little, little project. A little project I've been working on. All right, well, Shay get? Shay gets... Shay, what do you want? You can have one of these three. Hmm. All right. I, no, you I think I want the Nimble Obstruction. No, that one's not going to happen. It was between <laughs> these two. Dang. All right, there you go. Okay. Boop. So Vraska takes three, then? Why? True. It was on attack. Because on a, this triggers on attack, right? Not at the end of combat? Oh, because it's no longer under my control? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I'll accept my misplay. All right, so Vraska goes to two, stays alive. Wolf goes to three. And then in my second main phase, I am going to activate Windbrisk Kites to cast Migratory Root. This is going to make four 1-1 one, one dudes with flying. I'll pass the turn. Start by playing Bright Klein Pathway. Tapping three for Psy. Master Thopterist. 
Whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless after creature artifact creature token with flying. Tap two for a Talisman of Hierarchy and create a Thopter. Both of those come into play tapped. Yes, thank yep. you. I'll pass. Okay, all right. Five mana, we'll play Omnixilis Reignited. Make sure I have some black in there. Or any another one. Yeah. So the five loyalty planeswalker plus one as I draw a card and lose a life. Minus three is destroy target creature. Minus eight is target opponent gains an emblem with whenever a player draw that pl whenever a player draws a card, you lose a life. So oh, okay. really fun emblem mm. for someone. Plus one is going to go up to seven loyalty. I'll lose a life draw card. Going to cast Liliana Dreadhorde General. We do, you do, tried to dodge her long enough. Um, what are all the abilities again? Let me try. This is in <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> the passive is whenever a creature dies, I draw a card. Yes. Uh, the plus one is to create a 2-2 two, two zombie creature token. The minus four is each player sacrifices two creatures. The minus nine, I believe, is target opponent picks one card of each type from permanence they control and sacrifices the rest. I'm going to plus Karn the Great Creator on Lightning Greaves. All right, well, that's a two-two. She doesn't have to sacrifice it, but just I like giving the option, you know. <laughs> Oh, it what just, do I do? It's a 2-2 two, two right now. Yeah, it still yep. has all its abilities It's and a 2-2 two, two for the moment. All right, I'm going to minus Wolf. It's a minus two because of Karth, and make two spiders. I am going to minus Liliana. It's a minus three because of Karth. Everybody sacrifice two creatures. See you later, burbs. Two insects dead. Two spiders die. Loyalty goes back on Wolf. I draw two cards from Liliana. Uh, Meat Hook Massacre triggers, by the way. Oh, yes. You're gonna have to keep track of those now. Mm. So uh, each opponent loses two life. Yep. Um, so oh. one, two. And how many other? And then six more creatures died. Uh, yes. And then I gain six. Yep. What a card! Yeah, that's great. I look forward to the next turn. In fact, Sounds good. I'm so mad about it. <gasps> I'm gonna play this forest, and then I'm gonna abrupt decay my Meatook Massacre. <laughs> Destroy target on land permanent. But I should. I, I should have done it first, but it made me mad. All right. Well. I've had enough of the Sunwing, so I'm killing that with Vraska. It uh, should be a minus three, but it's a minus two because of Karth. Yep. And it triggers Karth because Vraska goes to the graveyard. Our choice is Nissa, who shakes the world. Poor world is getting shook. <laughs> yes, it is. Let's play Oath of Liliana. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. At the beginning of my end step, uh, if a Planeswalker entered the battlefield under my control, I make a 2-2 black zombie creature token. I think that's going to work. Psy left. You're, yeah. keeping, you're keeping a Lightning Greaves that can't activate? Ooh. Yeah. You'll really like that card. I'm going to cast Oath of Nyssa. This lets me look at my top three cards, and I may reveal a creature, land, or Planeswalker card from among them, put it into my hand, and put the rest on the bottom in any order. I'll reveal this forest. Then yeah. I'll attack you for three Karth damage. Oh yeah. And I'll make a zombie token because of Oath of Liliana, and it's your turn. Okay. Uh, Bajuka Bog CGB. Okay. <laughs> I've been Bajuka Bogged. <laughs> we <laughs> Exiled. I'll tap, tap one black to play a Vampire of the Dire Moon. I do not draw a card. Unfortunately. <laughs> Things have changed. <laughs> oh, it does get a Vigilance counter, though. And I'll Blood Curdle Karth. Uh, destroy target creature, put a Menace counter on the creature you control. I'll send Karth to the graveyard. Oh, and I'll plus one Wolf, and I'll draw a card from Liliana. <laughs> I'll put a Menace counter on, I guess, the Tyam. Go to combat. I'll swing three at Liliana, Dreadhorde General, actually. And then let's go three at Wolf as well. In the air. With that. Okay, and the creature on the ground is Menace, so I can't do anything. Correct. Right? Yes. Okay, so Liliana dies and Wolf goes to one. And I'll pass. Play a Rogue's Passage. I'm going to cast Essior, Wardwing Familiar. 1-3 flyer. Spells your opponents can cast that target one or more commanders you control. Cost three more to cast. Trigger uh -huh. Guardian Project to draw a card. 
We're gonna tra tap six now for a Dream Trawler. I will draw a card off Guardian Project. This is a 3-5 Flying Lifelink. Whenever I draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus one plus zero until end of turn. Whenever it attacks, I draw a card, and I can discard a card to give it Hexproof until end of turn and tap it. Let's move to combat, shall we? I will attack Lolf for three with Nimble Obstructionist. Then I will attack CGB with Ineaz. So that's gonna be four damage. And then Bird has to attack and it's going to attack Shay. You're gonna be getting it anyway. Cool. Trigger Ineaz. There you go, Shay. Uh, you may have the 2-2 two -two zombie. Cool. <laughs> we're, we're, we're being chill. We're being. I'm trying to be nice. And then I will take your Hornet Queen. Yeah, figured. What is uh, CGB? Take the Orzhov Signet. I will give all my attacking flyers plus one plus one with Ineaz. So you're going to take five Commander, and Lulz going to take four. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead. <sighs> Tapping eight. To cast a Layla. She's back. She's back. Uh, then we will pay two for intangible virtue, um, creating a fairy. Uh, creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one, and have vigilance. These two are tap. Nope. Oh, no. S right. Sungling, dead. Sungling okay. gone. You're welcome. Cool. <laughs> Going to combat uh -huh. with. Um, my one one bird and my <laughs> two two bird with vigilance. Oh, two two bird with vigilance. Uh, three two. Three two bird with vigilance. Three to CGB. Three two three. Then I'll pass. Okay. I'm, I'm going on. to try to cast Liliana Death's Majesty. The plus one is to make a two two zombie creature token and mill two cards. The minus three is to return target creature card from graveyard to battlefield as a black zombie in addition to other types. And the minus seven is destroy all non-zombie creatures. Oh. And take it down to target Karth. Bring Karth back to the battlefield. That's sick. I'm going to look at top seven. Oh, that was close, but we hit Garrick Cursed Huntsman. Oh, no. All right, forest for turn. Omnixilis going up to nine to draw a card and pay a life. We cast Nissa, who shakes the world. No. And whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional green. The plus one is to put three plus one plus one counters up to one target non-creature land you control. Untap it. It becomes a zero zero elemental with vigilance and haste. That's still land. The minus eight is you get an emblem with lands you control have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards. Put them on the battlefield tapped shuffle. I'm going to make a three three, an untapped three three out of my Takanuma. <laughs> the abandoned mire. Are you feeling like you're not? getting your value back now? I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. I feel like now it's doing something, you know? I do. Let's cast Garrett Curse Huntsman. And this has five loyalty, the zeros to make two wolves, and yeah, I'm gonna need all the dice. And the minus three <laughs> is to destroy target creature, draw a card, and the minus six is plus three plus three and trample. I'm going to uh, take it down to three loyalty, and I'm going to target to destroy and draw a card the commander over here. Your commander. Six mana here. We're gonna cast Vraska, Relic Seeker, Pirate Vraska. And I'm going to minus two instead of minus three to destroy target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Create a colorless treasure artifact token. I'm going to destroy the Guardian Project. I think we've seen enough card, enough from that. I'm going to make my Death Sea treasure token. Shout out content creator. <laughs> I'm going to plus my card to five. I'm going to make the Death Sea easier. Nope, that doesn't work. It says up to one. I guess I'll just target nothing. Last time I got punished for it. <laughs> She's looking at me like, <laughs> All right, also gonna play Garrick Wildspeaker, and I'm going to plus one, but plus two Garrick to untap two lands. And I think I played everything and activated everything. It's been fun, but I don't have any good attacks. So, I'm done, and I make a zombie because of Oath of Liliana. Draw my card. I'll tap two and three to play a aerial responder. It's a two-three flying vigilance lifelink. Mm-hmm. 
And then I will play my land for turn, Safe Haven. For two and a tap, remove target creature you control from the game. Play this as an interrupt. For zero, sacrifice it and return all creatures it removed from the game, di game directly into play under their owner's control as though they were just summoned. Activist, activate this only during your upkeep. And... Combat. Go to combat. I'll swing five and two, so a total of seven at CGB's face. I'll block the menace creature with a two two with a three five and a two two, and I'll block the zombie token with a three three. I'll block the zombie with the double block. Okay, so you'll kill, you'll you'll put the damage on the zombie. Right. Yeah. Okay, and how much in the air? Uh, just one. And how much death touch? Uh, they're both death touch. So, so two damage. Two, two total, okay. yeah. And the uh, zombie dies? Yes. Because it ran into a 3-3? Three, three? Right. <laughs> Playing my commander. It doesn't get much, but it gets vigilance, trample, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Trample, and that will be my turn. All right. I am going to draw a card, which will trigger Dream Trawler to get plus one, plus oh. 10, 11. Welcome back. Da, 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 da. Resolves. Cool. Land for turn, move to combat. Everything at CGB's face. Trigger Dream Trawler to draw a card. I'm going to stack that over any as, so I draw it first. And then let's do some shenanigans. It's another plus one. Yep. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's keep Alayla safe. CGB, you may take Talisman of Hierarchy. Sorry, Shay, I know I keep making you lose all your stuff, but okay. I think that's going to be the best. Ben, do you want Nissa who shakes the world? It's I time I move my first Planeswalker. I will move. Or you could give me Karn, and then CGB can't activate all his artifacts. I don't know if that. Oh, yeah. that's a very that you've good been idea. Him, yeah. No, yeah, let's do that. You take, oh, yeah. you take Mr. Karn. All right, and then, that's it. Go to damage. Well, You're taking yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Shane, we're gonna need to do. Something. You have lifelink, right? Uh, yes. Dream Trawler has lifelink, but nothing else does. So I will gain five life. All right, go ahead. Isolated chapel. <laughs> Moving to combat. Mm -hmm. Send it all to the scary planeswalker man. Planeswalker. <laughs> 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 uh huh. All right. Um, yep. So tokens get a plus one here, and, and then vigilance. flying and vigilance, and then um, flying creatures get plus one. So that's three, six, um, five. Um, or no. So eight. It Flying creatures gets, get plus one? Just a plus so one. So three, six, seven, eight. And then yep, however seven, much Alayla's doing. And then two from Alayla. So, so ten. ten. Yeah. So I take ten? Yep. Okay. Two commander. So I'm at 18 Alayla commander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Twice And you gain two life? And I gain two Alayla. life from the lifelink. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the turn. That um, concludes. I gained one life from the vampire. Should I correct that? Yeah. Yeah. Take, okay. Get one life from your vampire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Blake, you get an emblem which says, whenever a player draws a card, you lose two life. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> you're, li you're the gang leader. I gotta, I gotta I go for you. I can't play, no, you gotta, yeah. Gang you play. leader, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have kind of been the gang leader. Plus two Liliana, mill two cards, make a zombie. Ugin oh. the Ineffable and Exotic Orchard. Minus two Garrick, destroy. Your commander, and I draw a card, and you lose Good two life. Sweet prince, princess. Minus two, Vraska, destroy aerial responder, make a treasure. You lose. No, you don't lose life. But just destroy aerial responder. Let's cast a far seek, and let's also play a fabled passage and crack that. So a pair of fetchings. Mm -hmm. Shuffle up this deck. Uh, so an untapped forest and a tapped swamp. All right, plus Nissa, who shakes the world. 
untap swamp, make it 3 3 vigilante trampoly thing. Haste. Haste as well. Yeah. Thank you. Minus Garrick, but it's actually not a minus at all to make a beast. 3 3 beast token. Uh, attack Blake for three commander. Wait, one, two. Yep, uh, attack Blake. I've got three commander coming at you. I've also got a three, three, and another three, three vigilant trample or vigilant haste. So I'll take nine, three of which is commander? Yes. And then it is done. I will draw my card for turn. Take two. <laughs> I will play yes. yet another land, and there's untapped. I'll go to combat. I'll swing seven at CGB. Does it all fly? Uh, two, one flies. Flying death touch, one, one, vigilant. Okay, so the others don't? The others do not. So what one, do they have? One's a five, five trampler, and one's a death touch lifelink, one, one. Okay, um, I'm going to block the five, five with a... 3-3 three, three, and a 3-3. Three, three. One is a land, the other is a beast token. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to block the death touching 1-1 one, one with a zombie and take one. Okay. I'll gain one. I'll block the swamp instead of the beast. So I kill you'll, you'll kill the swamp. I'll kill the swamp. Okay. Same block, it's throwing me. Right. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's funny. All right. And, and then the my, dies. my oh. vampire also dies. Sorry about your vampire, dude. And so does my commander. Also? I'll, I'll pass it. Draw a card. Intriguing. Take two, by the way. The question is, is if you die, what happens to the emblem? The emblem stays. stays. That's what I thought. Yeah. So I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. CGB, emblem. well played, sir. <laughs> Taking me down with you, eh? Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm going to have some fun before I die. I'm going to play Magus of the Moat. Creatures without flying can't attack. It's an 0-3. Move to combat. I will attack everything at CGB. Draw a card, lose two life. Thank you. You're welcome. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and that is, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. We will see if I draw anything other than. Hold on, Shay. You get oh. some toys. Oh, right. And you can activate them. Though. No, you can't. Or oh yeah, Karn's yeah. gone. Mm. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Oh, I do gain five life off the Dream Trawler. Oh, uh, tap three for a Mirror Maid. Ooh. It's an enchantment, so I'll create a fairy. Um, when it enters the battlefield, it may be a copy of any artifact or enchantment on the battlefield. I think I would like for it to be a copy of Intangible Virtue. So then um, creature tokens, now I guess get plus two, plus two. Uh, I'll equip Lightning Greaves to Alayla. I think I'm actually going to put it on a token and give a token haste. We'll pay one to tap and sacrifice Mind Stone to draw a card. I'm going to swing at Blake with everything except for Alayla. And I believe it totals, um, that's 14 damage. Four, 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 twelve, and then two from that. You do have double vigilance on your tokens. Correct. I'll block a three, three uh, fairy. Okay. The Thorn and Queen. They're four fours, but yes. Sure. Four threes. Four threes. <laughs> four threes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> and I take how much? Um, so that'll be ten. And then I'm gonna move uh, a Lightning Greaves to Alayla. And I'll pass the turn. I will untap nothing <laughs> and draw a card. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Take two. Wait, every time anyone draws a card, or I thought it was a Benighted. player. Oh. It's a player. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. I'm gonna play Sunblade Angel. It's a three-three with flying, first strike, vigilance, and life link. I'm gonna play Commander. Commander. Mm -hmm. What's Commander do? Ooh, he does a lot this time. Mm. He's got Death Touch, flying, life link. Vigilance, <laughs> trample, and five one one counters. Hell yeah. <laughs> CGP, I'm, or ben, I'm rooting for you, dude. Yeah. yeah. I will move to combat. 
Yeah. <laughs> Offer stands. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, sweet. Unblockable now. Oh, I'm it doesn't in... have haste though. No, I'm the insect though. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, well, that's good <laughs> sure, idea. sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I'll swing one at Jay with that touch flying. And unblockable. And unblockable, yep. yes. Hiya. And then I'll pass the turn. Eh? Take two. Ah! <laughs> I will play a land. So four, and then it's multi kicker of one, two, three, four. I'm gonna cast my boy Kangi, Ariel, Airy Keeper. Mm. He gets X feather counters, which is four. So he gets uh -huh. four little feather counters, and he gives all my birds plus four plus four. All your birds? Yeah, I got my little my little nimble obstructionist. <laughs> <laughs> so your nimble obstructionist gets plus four plus four. What a card! Mm -hmm. For for you used to have all you, these birds. What happened to your birds? <laughs> you used to have twelve just to get one creature plus four plus four. Shay, teach him how to like combat. buff the creatures, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Shay knows how to make, get this stuff done. <laughs> That's fair. I will attack Shay for seven. Okay. I uh, will take seven. Okay. And then I'm going to pass my turn. I didn't think that would ever Finish him, play. Shay. Draw that card. Do, do, do. You get this. This is not a Shay kill. This is a you kill. <laughs> From beyond the grave. <laughs> Unfortunate. I didn't think okay. they could ever backfire on you, the dream drawers. <laughs> I know. Wow. Well, it was also the thing that was keeping me alive, too. You, right, for a little while. For a bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ben. It's on. It, uh, me and you. I'm Has it ever decking. been just us two before? I don't, the end? I don't know, actually. I don't, I don't think not. so. It no. is not. Don't think so. Uh -huh. Cool. Which happened? Seven. For oh, Safara Sky's oh, Pick. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Wow. Okay. Flying life. Mine's link. Don't doing work. Other <laughs> creatures you control with flying have indestructible. That would be all of them. That would be all of them. <laughs> that would be all of them. Oh okay. yeah. Uh, I think I'd like to equip Lightning Greaves to Safara. Swing in with these four. So that's Four, four and eight, ten. Oh, that's gone now. That was mine. Oh, okay. Not that. Well, it's I'm not token, sure about that it? one. That's a token that this one for sure is gone. Mm. Because oh, Because this yeah. I actually just straight handed to you. True. That changes right. your decisions. Wait. I don't know if the bird goes away. We'll just say it doesn't. I have no idea. I don't think it would. It's I don't a think token, so either. So. Uh, I'm gonna attack with these three. Then. Is Alayla's toughness buffed at all? Uh, nope. She's uh, just two. I'll block a Layla with the first striker, 3-3. Three, three, and then I'll block the other two. So my insect will die, and I'll block it with the fairy, I guess. So the fairy will die. They're all indestructible. indestructible. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. They're... Do you want to change your blocks at all? Or? No, that's fine. And I'll gain 11. And this will die because Layla has death touch. It is first strike. Doesn't matter but because doesn't Layla matter. has oh, indestructible. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Right. Forgot about that turn. Okay, I'll gain a little more. My turn? Yep. I'm gonna play Unburial Rites. Returning target creature from my graveyard to the battlefield. And we get Tyam. And then I'll also flash it back. Paying four more to get back Hornet Queen. I'll swing eight. Death Touch, Trample, Lifelink. Flying commander damage. The, here's where it gets scary. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I guess I would just double block to take less commander damage. So, so six. So I'll take six and then I'll keep track of the commanders. It took a while for him to get there. And I'll gain mm -hmm. eight. I'll be at 51. But he's here uh, now. Yep. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll pass. Manifesting. So we will tap three for an Etchings of the Chosen. I'll create a fairy. Um, as it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. I'm gonna choose fairies. Creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. Then I can also pay one to sacrifice a creature of the chosen type. Target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. 
51. <laughs> Good luck. It's <laughs> a big number. Yeah. Yeah, you have enough to block everything I would send. I think that's it. You done? All right. Yep. All right, at your end step, Ooh. I'll remove three counters from my insects. So this one still has vigilance, these do not. And I'll return a, I'll mill three and then return a permanent with converted mana cost three or less. That would have been a good topic. That's sad. There's <laughs> Tar's expertise to yeah. the bin. Okay. Slippery bog binder to the bin. And I'll return, I'll return aerial responder to the battlefield. I'll go to my turn, untap, draw for turn. I'll play a Vitality Hunter. It is lifelink, it's a 3-4. Mm. Uh, for two white and axe, I can make it monstros monstrous. And whenever it becomes monstrous, I may put a lifelink counter on each of up to X target creatures. So I tap 13 total mana, X being 11, to put 11 counters on him, and I'm pretty sure that gives all my creatures lifelink. It gives all your creatures lifelink. <laughs> Double lifelink. <laughs> then that, that one's already lifelink. Okay, and then I'll go to combat. These mm -hmm. are something sick. Or no, not this one. Just this one. I'll swing 19 total damage. All right, um, I will block the biggest ones. Okay. First, your commander's probably the... It's the 8-8 Trampler, yeah. All right, we'll block commander with Alayla, and then the next biggest. All right, so we'll block the this one without death touch. Then I'll send another a five okay. fairy and there. And then your commander with Catherine. Yep, and then I've got one more I oh, can okay. block with. Um, so I'll block one of the insects. One of which one? The probably this one. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you take trample damage then, right? Yep. So five from that. Or, uh, because of death touch, she's going to take uh, seven so, commander trample oh, right. damage. Yep. Right, right. Because of, yeah. All right. Let's. So let's just go one by one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, take the seven commander trample damage right now. Back and, and I'll gain. Gain eight. two from your Alayla. And you'll Boop. gain eight. Okay, um, let's do the Tayam versus Safara, right? Mm -hmm. So no. you gain three. And it will die. And it will die, and Shay will gain seven. Oh, jeez. <laughs> then we have a Fairy versus Aerial Responder. Ben will gain two. two. Shay will not gain, but the Ender Creature won't die. The Aerial Responder dies. Then we have Fairy Dragon versus... Hornet Queen, is that correct? Yep. I believe so. Yep. So Ben will gain two, Fairy Dragon will die. Will not die. Indestructible. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. And then Hornet Queen will die. Yep. Then These two are dying. Um, so are they. Yeah, they're yeah. all dying, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you'll take four. Did this bird still block? I thought it blocked something, but. Yeah, well, sure. An insect, blocked. right? Yeah, it was this one. Yeah. Or no, that no, was that the was other fairy. fairy. So one of these. So games. one, one of these. Oh right. The one with vigilance. We'll call the yeah, one with yeah, vigilance is also going right. to die. And then I'll gain four more. Yep. Do we take three? Did we account for that yet? One. Yeah. No. One, two, three is okay. uh, the leftover damage. Okay. And did you gain the life from these? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. Woof. Okay. Okay. Woof. <laughs> All right. Does that conclude the turn? That concludes my turn. Yes. Okay. Blake, I'm happy we're not a part of this. <laughs> yes, a lot. I'm about to grab margarita, you want one? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you got that hard Mountain Dew coming. Oh, there hard you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it doesn't have flying. It does not. It, does it is not on the flying. ground. Yes. It's on the ground. It's grounded. We're doing it. So I'm just going to swing, I think, with um, everything. Okay. It's all flying, right? Yeah. It's all um, flying. Right, we just went over that. <laughs> okay, how much? <laughs> yep, so I believe it's 25. And then how much do you gain? I think 11. Does that get bumped? Yeah, it's 10. because of the... Right? Yep, I think 11, because this is 3 and this is 8. Why is this going to get buffed? Because uh, flying oh, creatures. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, she's right. She's got it. And then I'll take 3 commander damage? Yes, 3 commander. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Draw. Okay. Tap one. Soul rank. <laughs> cool. 
Nine, ten, eleven. Here we go again. It's got more stuff, I think. It has first strike now. So and I think that's it. And the size, the plus one, plus one counters. And seven, seven counters. counters. So he's at ten, ten. I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, swing a 14, 15 at you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll block with an indestructible fairy. Okay, yep. <laughs> I'll gain 14. <laughs> Does that conclude the turn? That concludes the turn. Okie yes. dokie. We'll play a drowned catacomb. So then I'm going to tap two for a dark steel oh, mutation. It, yeah, it does have hexproof. It does have hexproof. Mm, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's a yeah. insect artifact creature, base power and toughness zero one, has indestructible, loses all other abilities. Yeah. Yep. I played an enchantment, so I nice. create a fairy. So swing with all the indestructible stuff. I'll block one of the tokens with my commander. Okay, so then that will leave right, nine and three, so 12 damage. 12 damage, and I'll gain 10. Yep, so, so I'll take two. Minus two. Um, okay. I'm gonna gain Any three of it was commander? here, and then three of it is commander, yeah. Okay, this is good. <laughs> okay. Okay, my turn. Absurd, yes. Okay, I'll untap, I'll just do that now. That works. <laughs> yeah, that's better, I like that. I'll draw. I'll play a lamp. No. <laughs> I'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. It's Layla's tap, which is nice. I'll swing my commander at you for 10 first strike, death touch, trample, lifelink, flying. We'll do a big old, big old group block. Um, so four on your commander. Yep. To totaling 19. I'll just die. And then I'll gain 10. And you will take. Six commander. I'll actually tap one to move a counter from a permanent I control to another target permanent. Move the lifelink counter to this guy. This one does not have lifelink and these two do. 13. I believe it's just the same. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I don't pretty think my sure. graveyard has changed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez. What? <laughs> Yeah, just deal with right. that again, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep killing it, it keeps going back. All right, so it's a 10. So it's, yeah, 10. Yeah. So seven. Okay. okay, now I'm done. Okay, let me do my untappies. Tap three for... Mesa oh. Enchantress. Mesa okay. Enta Enchantress, yep. <laughs> Super helpful right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, I mean, with commander damage, you got it next turn. Mm. I think I'm just gonna pass. Okay. One tap draw. I'll swing <laughs> at you. Really? you I know, I know. <laughs> I'll swing at you for 10 commander again. Woo! All right. Um, we'll block with a fairy. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Trample Death Touch Good does it again. It. Oh yes. my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, Congrats, Ben. That, that almost didn't feel like a win. <laughs> you ever it's been in torture. one of those slogs that's yeah. so hard? Right. Oh, yeah. Like we just gotta oh. win but, somehow. But, but, but it's magic. Yeah. It's with our friends. Mm -hmm. I know oh, we yeah. try to complete it, you know, quickly when we can, <laughs> but sometimes it doesn't work out that way. <laughs> there is still the thrill of victory, the yes. agony of defeat. Yeah. So, yes. Ben, you are the oh, champion of today's mm -hmm. game. You will be picking the comment that will win a $50 Cool Stuff Inc. gift card, gift code. So, uh, yeah, watch for Ben's uh, selection of your comment. Leave him something nice. If you watched all of that, you probably oh, have man. something to say. Yes. Because you, you've witnessed a saga, you've witnessed Lord of the Rings played out in Magic the Gathering cards. Mm -hmm. So Ben, we get to start with you. What was your card of the game? I'm pretty sure because it came in so clutch that it was unburial rights. Yeah. I got to cast it and flash it back in the same turn. That good. was very nice. Mm -hmm. That was a big top deck yeah. for sure. What a card. Very nice top deck. Blake, the, the the still over here taking damage from Obnixilis. Oh, still F1. taking damage from Obnixilis. <laughs> you got a card of the game for us? Yeah, it's the clue token over there because Shay sacked it, so I couldn't get the win con of getting all the way around. The true card of the game, though, was uh, I would have to, <laughs> it would have to be Ineos. I know it's weird to, 
make that your commander, but or make your commander the card of the game. But it was super fun just messing with boards, and he I ended up paying 13 mana for them at one point. So, Ineos, you were awesome. Shay, card of the game. Um, I really appreciated um, Bident of Thassa. It just really put in a lot of work for me with the card oh, yeah. draw, and I feel like with as much mana as I was drawing, I really would have been stuck without it. Um, so yeah, that's my card of the game. It's gonna sound weird, but I had to wipe the board a lot earlier because I was scared of how many cards you were going to draw. Yeah. <laughs> and you were definitely <laughs> like, you were the first one, I think, on the go face train, just kill CGB. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I did have to worry about that a lot. That's a yeah. good one. Yeah. All right, my card of the game, I'm going to double down with, like, I'm going to give it to Cart the Lion. I'd never played this commander. I never thought I would play this commander. I remember when I opened it in Modern Horizons, I was like, green, black for Planeswalkers? That's not too exciting. Yeah. But then you think about it, and Vraska, and Liliana, and Nyssa. Oh, oh there's Garu. so many good ones. Scary. Garrick's okay. Yeah. He's, I, he's, <laughs> he's, well, I was just helping. I was just helping. He's all right. This you deck know, was yeah, so yeah. sick. It, it was, that was I, super cool. There's a lot of cards I didn't get to draw that would have like ended the game at many points with my board state. Yeah. Um, Elder Spell, Command the Dread Horde, yeah. to name a couple, but mm. uh, they're boring Clex, Doubling Season, mm. um, all of those. My, my Demonic Tutor, I went and I got Veil vale of Summer to like protect my go for it win, because yeah, yeah. then I was thinking I just need one of those cards to win the game. Totally. Just never just found a single one of them. That's so sad. Um, but anyway, I, I'm going to give it to Karth. Way more fun than I expected. Remember to use the promo code CGB5 at CoolStuffInc.com to get a discount on these or other sweet cards for your commander decks. Thank you. You stayed till the end. That's <laughs> always a big deal. That's a really big deal on this channel today. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for being here. And uh, how do I end these videos? Oh, yeah. oh. You're cool.